My name is Tahir Kukai. I'm Imam of the Albanian Islamic Culture Center, and I'm also the uh, vice president of the uh, center. And also I am uh, NYPD chaplain. We are today at the Albanian Islamic Culture Center, which is located at 307 Victory Boulevard, Staten Island. And this is the largest mosque in Staten Island and uh, also in New York City. This center uh, came to existence in 1991. And the center here has also a school from pre-K to 12th grade. It does serve Staten Island regardless of the religion, race. We are a Muslim center, but we do serve Staten Islanders regardless, you know, your race, your religion. We have been working with law enforcement, with religious entities, and uh, Staten Islanders. What makes me passionate about uh, hate crime task force is that uh, since uh, the election of uh, district attorney, uh, the Honorable Michael McMahon, things has changed, you know, um, fundamentally. He has created an environment of inclusiveness. They are leaders of the community part of this uh, task force, we get to the roots of the problem, we work together with the community and law enforcement and the DA's office. And believe it or not, you know, this has helped so much in getting low tensions between, you know, uh, communities, especially uh, during these days, I mean, these uh, times, we know a lot of tensions are in, in, in country. But we in Staten Island, we have we, we've been able to have this uh, conversation, direct conversation. And yes, communities have been able to express their concerns in a very, you know, uh, honest way, but also have found a person or and a team that, you know, gives them answers. And with the, with the practice that we do every month, we come with the statistics that what's going on and how we have you know done better were we were we lacking so it's very honest and open conversation and it, it did help a lot there is no issue that you know is of concern to the community that we do not discuss it and there is no limits neither in time aspects the community they can express their their worries their concerns and uh, uh, we'll see. We we we, we uh, actually we see this this uh, kind of involvement has been increased with the uh, uh, you know McMahon. The, the initiative of uh, against hate is very important because looking into it into as a civil uh, you know uh, movements or uh, religious uh, in, institutions, we all try to. Uh, teach and preach, you know, unity and uh, love thy neighbor. But this this uh, idea of hate against certain group of people, I don't see it. It's uh, basically from the society has been brought with different names, whether uh, white supremacists, whether religious, uh, you know, people that try to bring some uh, uh, culture that uh, divides community. This team, which is in, in, in the district attorney's uh, office, has a lot of respect from the community. They know them personally and has, when they say something, community does trust them. So the most important thing is trust that is between DA's office and the community leaders and the community. My hope uh, for the future of the task force is that it continues and uh, we'll, we see fruits of this cooperation and this mission, but also to be replicated into other boroughs as well.